What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to G-Friends, Mago, music video, and dance practice. So yeah guys, the day has uh, come, the day has come for us to uh, react to G-Friends, the very last uh, music video since like, uh, the, the most recent one, hopefully someday we'll get some kind of reunion for, uh, where, where we get a music video, as I'm not going to say it's the last uh, music video, but uh, the most recent one, and the last one in the uh, trilogy, in the, I think it's, it was called The Crossroads? trilogy am i right about that i'm not completely sure i think that's what it uh what it's called i'm super excited to um to get into this and kind of see how it leads on from uh last time where there was this whole you know seduction uh thing with the and, and kind of like a garden of eden thing theme going on with the apple biting an apple and such um super interesting so i'm interested to see you know as he said how this uh you know kind of builds on that so let's get right into g friends mago music video all right, G friends, Mago official music video. Uh, let's uh, go. I, I can see, by the way, that it's like a different uh, aspect ratio. So let's see. English captions perfect. <clears throat> okay, we're walking down a tunnel. So this kind of, I guess, fits with we are on Earth now. I'm guessing. Okay. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, I was just, I was in a shock just then. Oh. And Una with long hair. Oh, so this is like disco. First, first of all, I'm, I'm noticing that Una looks like her, like her, um, her the debut days with her no bangs and everything. Like that's that's super cool. Oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. oh, this disco vibe. Also, just, just to drink, whoever got the idea to have cherries and drinks, I, I don't get it, but I love the vibes. Mmm. Hakuna Matsat, okay. Ooh, that, that like, what's it called, like a bodysuit and the simply looks amazing. Mago. Okay, so it's Mago. They all, they all look absolutely amazing in, in this, is this, I mean. But I find it interesting that, like, uh, Yedin is alone, and uh, we haven't really seen Yuju outside of, like, the, uh, the group, um, the, the group performance, so. Okay. Take that. <clears throat> I I can see where uh, Yuju has uh, has gone and um she looks amazing. Didn't know she like does she actually do pole dancing or is it just like a for this and me? Also, how how come Una now has like the black hair the black short hair is like it's it just a wig i don't know if the bright hair or this black hair is the is the wig mm -mm. yuju okay yuju listen listen yuju calm down man i'm calm down i'm i'm trying trying to live right here i'm killing me it seems like she's actually doing dude she actually does pole dancing <clears throat> Hongji just looks amazing. Like, it, in these fits, they look so cute. And here they look incredibly sexy. Ding. Mm, okay, Simbi. Did she just... Okay, Una. Getting some waves in her hair. <laughs> okay. 
get someone? <laughs> they look absolutely amazing. I love the fits. Okay, okay. Future getting up on the disco ball as well. Kind of reminds me of like um, what's what's it called? Uh, Miley Cyrus's uh, what, what's it called? Uh, Wrecking Ball. The way you just said on top. Oh, that's the thumbnail. Oh, so, so that's like, uh, oh, is that, yeah, is that like a disco ball they're sitting on, I'm guessing? So, so I, I like that idea, like, kind of how, like, now they're together again right there at the end. Now, I, first of all, I, uh, it was very hard for me to, to pay attention to the lyrics because the visuals were absolutely amazing. Just the color of the MV and, you know, just the girls themselves were mesmerizing. But um, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is kind of uh, their mature side now or like they're out of uh, Garden of Eden side, kind of, kind of how uh, the, it's actually, I feel like it, it's a pretty um, common way to do stuff, like having this, uh, I guess, going from innocent and then taking the bite of an apple and now being uh, not as innocent, especially because um, we, can, we can see there's a lot more focus on like, um, I feel like the, the sexy side is more, much more of a sexy disco concept uh, this time around. I don't mind it at all, though, but that's kind of how I'm uh, linking it. But other than that, I, I don't feel like there was that much of a direct link. If you guys have uh, something about this in terms of like the uh, greater storyline, please let me know down in the comments because I'll be I'd be super interested uh, in it. But for now, let's move on to uh, the choreo. All right, G Friends Margo's dance practice. Uh, let, let's see how much disco they uh, include in the actual dance. No uh, captions, but let's go. Also, the the um this intro instrumental kind of reminds me of something. I'm not completely sure what, but I feel like I've heard it before. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing the the long bright hair is the actual hair. I don't know. Love how Simi kind of moves them all. Ooh, that positioning? That was so nice. I'm gonna rewind that. Look at this, like how they kind of uh, move the positions That's that way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh. And also, also, I just want to point out, Juju has those, like, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, but we call them, like, trumpet pants in, in, in Denmark, and she actually has them on for the training, and I like that. Adds to the disco. Big tuck. So, what does Mago mean? I, I forgot to ask this. What does Mago mean? Let me know in the comments. like the, the helicopter dance. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, and the steps on the, uh, with the feet. I don't know if you guys noticed that when, like, they did it with feet to the beat. Very disco. I love the amount of like spins that that are coming into this, and and again they did that amazing uh, positioning. <laughs> I like that. What well, a little mini break in the uh, instrumental. Oh, the 
this looks so good, like... Oh, I always, I've said this so many times before, I always like these, um, when it's like one row and uh, you kind of do something wave, all the way through, and then it jumps out, makes them all rise, and to the chorus again. Oh yeah, that was Soyan's, it's not Soyan's, so Soyan's kick. And I like that, this like, crown we get here, right here. That's nice. Mm, mm. Tick tack, tick tack. Oh, okay. Tick tack, tick tack. Love those, love those synchronized uh, hips with just not only the music but also with each other. I love the the way that's synchronized. Let's see what to do right here at the end. Damn, and then all posing absolutely amazingly right there at the end. Okay, I absolutely love this uh, dance practice or this choreo for this um, for this song, especially because this is like a disco song. But uh, and when when they do the choreo, they don't necessarily take directly, you know well-known disco moves but they still manage to through their own choreo kind of keep that disco vibe to uh the dancing which i find super super interesting how you can still make like new choreo incorporating the old disco vibes i think that's super super dope and uh, they did it perfectly i love all these um like synchronized and uh, very like uh, symmetric parts they've been been uh, going around in this one and uh, there's a lot of hips in this one and i like that i really enjoy that they, they do it amazingly especially hips can do uh, is always so good to look at when when it's like completely synchronized between all of them and i think that's uh really what helps them to make it even better the fact that they are so well synchronized and of course the positioning is on point like always by uh, by g friend yeah guys that was g friend's mago music video and dance practice video these are this is such a nice song and i feel like it really it fits well with that whole retro vibe that has been going on for these uh, last two years and in, in the whole k-pop industry a lot of this uh, retro and a lot of this disco and if you guys know me i absolutely love this because this is absolutely one of my favorite songs from uh, from g friend i just really like how all of these um three songs even though they're supposed to be like a, a trilogy or like part of the same uh, story these like um crossroads margo and uh, what what was the last one called i don't remember what the last one was called for some reason um but uh i really like the apple was the last one i like the idea that even though these are connected they are completely different in uh, in genre and tone and that uh, gfriend has been killing it absolutely killing it uh that being said i'm not completely sure what uh this is th this song is about like how this ties in to stuff except for them kind of i guess really living their life kind of accepting that they now have become uh i thought they were became demons last time you guys told me uh, they became witches i guess that's what mago means something like with has something having to do with uh magic but super super cool uh mb and uh, let me know down in the comments if there are any uh theories uh as well as let me know what you guys thought about g friends uh, mago down in the comments as well and i guess i'll see you guys next time